Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique World Gaming Terrain. Guys, welcome back for everyone that's new. This is a Let's Build video. What are the Let's Build videos? I take a model kit and I show you how to put it together. Now, why do I do this? Some people struggle with, you know, um, instructions and model kits and stuff like that. Some people have dyslexia and other, you know, learning difficulties. So I always find it's easier to have a visual aid. Um, no doubt, if you if you went to put the kit together and you want to get as much information about the kit first of all as possible, you know, here's a visual aid for you. So you can just look at it and see what's what and what's not. But all my regulars here, guys, have a love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a second. So what am I putting together today on this video? I am going to put together five Necron Immortals from the Imperium magazine. Now this is the this is the sprue, okay? The problem with this sprue is there are multiple options. Okay? So you've got the Tesla carbines, I believe they're called, for the Necron Immortals. They also have the I'm not even is that even on camera. They even had these guns as well, the blaster, whatever they're called. Okay, that's the first possibility. But also, on this sprue, when you buy the box, you get, you know, you know, you'll see what I'm saying. These are actually death marks weapons. And if we flip this around, so we can see the heads, they're the Necron uh, death mark heads, and they're Necron immortal heads. So this this sprue, this kit can make either five death marks. Or five immortals, and with the immortals, they have a, an option of two different weapons. So it is it's a little bit too much when you look at it first. You'll go, oh, ho hold on. Now, when I first looked at this kit, I thought it'd be the same as putting um, Necrons together. Okay, but it's not. They are totally different. As you can see, there's no. Yeah, there's all these different bits. There's this bits here with the spine coming out, and so we're gonna we're gonna work away on this. As always, the first thing we're going to need is tools for the job. Clippers. Okay, I don't have a scraper here. Hold on a second. So I do have a scraper here. So clippers, scraper. Some people use a, a scalpel or a hobby knife or whatever. I just I prefer the scraper. It's a plastic kit, so we have plastic glue. And I do have a sanding sponge. Okay. So as always, with any kit that we do, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the sprue. Now I've already shown you the uh, heads, so we know where they're allocated, okay? Obviously these button ones are death marks with the one eye, and the uh, immortals have the two eyes. We can already see the legs, okay? There's only five in this kit, so there's five legs there, nice and easy. Now look at the instructions, these legs, are interchangeable with any bodies so you don't have to worry about what legs go with what body and we've got the body parts i think that's the back and the front with the weapon arms okay so there are other little details like these little bits that go on the guns and stuff but we'll have a look at those when we get to them now to make the first one we need the spinal column which is number three now all of these spinal columns there's four there and there's one there they're all number three okay we need number 16, which is the back piece, which is, where are we? I should have adjusted the camera slightly here. And then we need number nine, which is this piece right here. Okay. So I'm going to clip them off and then clean them down and we'll show, see how they go together. Right, so I've dry fitted everything. This is the back. So we get a bit of glue out of there. It's not clogged, it's clogged. Right, so it's clogged, so what we do is we take that out. You can see how, how clogged that is. We take a lighter, we press burn the end. So we yeah, make sure it's not burning hot. Slide it back in. And we should have, let me drop in it, glue. Oh, 
what we do is take it out and we do the other end. And that make sure you're in a ventilated area. I am in a ventilated area, so let's give it a go now. Come on, there we go. Glue. Now the spine goes in with that little nozzle bit hanging at the top. So it goes in like that. Yeah. Obviously, if you're only a kid, do not mess around with lighters. You know, you get, get an adult to do it. But you saw how long I burned it for, not very long at all. Goes in there, nice and easy. Okay. Now this just dry fits over the front. And I tap some glue on the flat panels here. Nice and easy. Then what I do, I'm just going to run a little dab of glue along the join line there. Just to seal that join line. So that's the back of one model done. Okay, so you put him down, I'm going to put him down to dry. Now it's on to the next one, which is exactly the same, but it's number three is the spine column. Yeah, number three is the spine. It's all the same place. And we need number 21, which is this dude right here. Yeah. And then number 10, which is the front part of him, which is going to be, where is he? This one here. Yeah, oh, come on, am I even coming? No, I'm not there. I'm number 10. It's right next to the one you just took out. And then I'm putting one over this side. Okay, so the first one you took out is over here. Next one you need is over this side. All right, so now we're going to go back to the first body that we put together. We're going to put his arms on him. So we need number 17, which is this guy. These guys are both 17 for some bizarre reason. But number 17 we need, number 14, these are all 14, okay, these are the tips of the barrel. And number 18, which is this bad boy right next to him, okay. So I'm going to snip them off, clean them down, and we'll put them together. So the gun barrel, the two little bits, you can see that it's so fiddly to, to clip off. And they're very, very fiddly to clean, so just be very careful with them guys. But they just, you know, I just messed up on that little bit up there. But once that's dry, I'll get the clippers and get a little, that little nip. Just there, a little snip. But they literally just slot on, okay? Now this piece, just slots on there like that. So I'm going to glue that on. It's very, very easy. The only, fiddle, only part so far has been that little gun barrel that's been the fiddliest part. Okay, now what I do is the little join line just there and I run a little bit of glue just there just to see the join line now that's that weapon put together we need number 20 now for the other side of that weapon's arm and number 20 is just one of these fiddly little arms it's not the one but let's have a look see if we can see it there it is so we've just taken the gun from here yeah, that's number 20. That's that for, for the first time. I actually think there are, there's another number 20 there as well. I'd, Im yeah, I'd imagine these two go with these two weapons because they're both number 17. We'll take this this one here. Right, now we're on to a really tricky part. Because you can't glue the gun, the handle onto the gun, okay? But it's 10 years to glue this all together. So this goes in there and this has to line up here. Okay, something like that. So we're going to glue that on first and see if we can get the arm in at the same time. Put the glue in there. Put this bad boy on. 
And hopefully, I'm hoping that when it lines up, um, yeah, I'm putting the perfect position for the other arm to go onto. So I'm going to go off camera and hold this for a minute, and then I'll glue this arm, this arm, into this slot and onto the gun. There we go. The most annoying thing with this part is hold, is holding the arm in place. As you can see, that's just slipped off where it's meant to be. But again, it's just it's not very not that difficult. Just goes in there just to hold it into place. That's all. Okay, that's the most difficult part of it so far. Clipping that the, the gun barrel a bit off was a pain in the hole, but not too bad. Now, let's see how close to there. Now you can see it's in there nice. Because that's the one of the things I love with the plastic glue. Gives you plenty of time to mess around with stuff. I need to position him in a way that I can see if it slides off. Now, let's now it's on to the, the other dude with the same, same weapon. He has number 22. Let's locate where these are. Okay, so he has number 22, which is on this side, I believe. Yeah. Number 22 is this one here, in the top corner. Um, 22, 23, which is right next to him. And then again, another one of these lovely easy things to take off. And that weapon goes together the same way I've just shown you this one. So I'm not going to show you that again. I'm going to clip that off, clean that, glue that together, and glue that to the body. Because it's going to go in the same way, it's just different, different bits that are used. Right, so I've uh, put this weapon together, okay, I'm leaving it to dry, so now I'm going to go on to the third body, the third one is number 26, which is this piece here, number 11, okay, so that's how close those two pieces are together, I'm going to snip them, obviously I need a, a spinal column as well, or one of those ones, doesn't matter, I'm going to snip them all off, I'm going to clean them and glue them together because I've already shown you how to do the last two. Right, so now for the gun arm, we need 27, which is here. We just took the body from here. We need 27. We need this arm as well. This is the other arm that holds them. And 28, is it? Yeah, 28, which is here. So this gun, this, uh, this other part of the gun, the arm from the way that we just took the body from here, and another, number 14. Again, I'm not going to show you how to do it, I've just done the last two, so I'm just going to clean it, glue it, and put it on, on the body. Right, so we have three bodies glued together. Now, what we're going to do is, you still got the bases out, we're going to take all the legs off and glue the legs to the bases. Now, the legs are interchangeable with any body, same as the heads, interchangeable with any body. But rather than glue the legs, to the body, then have to wait for that the, the this part to, to dry before I can glue them to the base. I'm going to glue these straight to the base, and I'm going to use super glue to glue them to the base so it gets dry. So then, and then when I glue this bit to the body, I'm going to put super glue there as well, just to, so it's a quicker it dries quick up on me. So I'm going to get on with that now. I'm going to clip them off. They're all in the same place, nice and easy. I'm going to clip them off, clean them down, and super glue them to the bases. Right, so as you can see, they're all super glued on, and in fact, I can pick them up. That's how, that's how I want, so when I glue them together, it's easier to do. So the next guy is this one here, number 31, and this body up here, number 12. Okay, again, a spinal column, which only leaves this guy, this body down here. So I'm going to, yeah, this body down here, and this one, this side. Right next to the heads is the last dude, and this this one and this bit up here is the other guy. So I'm gonna just clip them off, clean them down, glue them bodies together straight away. There's no need to mess around. I've shown you that already. Right for the gun for this dude, it's number 32, which is here, and number 33. So it's right next to where the spinal columns are. Okay, so it's these two. 
Yeah, I'm sorry, what arm is it? Number 35. And there's the arm for it as well. So it's these three pieces of the gun and the arm. Again, also it's number, where are we? And I want these bad boys. Right, so now, all it is is the last one, which is very straightforward. I'm going to see already this gun, this arm, one of these, this body, this arm, and where's the other chest? The spine, obviously, and the other chest piece is over here. Very, very easy. Everything else, apart from the heads, are actually and um, actually death marks, but there is the these weapons, the Tesla carbines, I think they're called. But you know that's the other option for them. But as I said, because they're in the instructions I have, they to be done with these uh, balls. They have blasts, I think they're called. So I'm going to snip all those last bits off, glue them together. Yeah, I don't need to show you because I've just shown you the last. You know, there are so many of them. Right, so they're all the all the bodies and weapons are glued in. Now it's heads. Let's see if I'm getting close to here. These ones are here again in the bum, a death mark heads. They have one eye. Still amazing heads. I, I can't wait to get some death marks and add them to the unit, add them to the army, shall I say. But these heads here, these are the ones that we want. So I'm going to, they're all interchangeable again. So I'm going to snip them off. I'm actually going to go with super glue and super glue them into the bodies now. Actually, no, I'm just going to plastic glue them into the bodies now. Because then the only thing left in is super glue the bodies to the bases. Just to show you, they are a little bit fiddly, but with a bit of plastic glue, they do go on, they go in there, yeah. As you can see, it's all weird looking, so I'll just turn them around. There's two little, like, little, there's two little bits either side of his head. Yeah, see the one on this side here by my thumb? It's underneath his eye, and the head just sits in between there. I'm going to leave them for a few minutes to dry, then just glue the bodies on with a super glue. Right, and there we have it, guys. Very easy, very simple. <clears throat> I would give these guys probably a difficulty rating of a, a four to five. There's a few reasons why. The end of the gun, you know, the little nozzle bit, that was a pain in the backside to, to trim off the sprue. Um, easy enough to glue in, but a bit of pain in the backside. The arm going in to the gun, um, as I said, I glued this side first, arm in first, and then I glued the other arm in with plastic glue. But whilst this one was still, it wasn't dry, but it wasn't like, you know, falling off. It was it was enough tack there to hold it in place whilst I glued the, the supporting arm in. But there was a little bit of a fit having to move the gun a little bit to, to get the arm into the right spot. But heads were a little fiddly, as they always are. But apart from that, it was actually very, very easy, very straightforward. And actually a joy for, to put them together. So, and as these are immortals, and immortals are a troop choice, I do believe, in the Necron Army. I did look at them and think, oh, I think I'll be getting some more of these guys. Because it's, it's always nice to have a troop choice like this with a heavy weapon. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful in any way, Please like, share, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and I'm going to show you some pre-pictures now, but I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys.